Hey guys, SciSight7, and I will be explaining my view on climate change. So my view on climate change is described not by the way we think things could happen in the future, but how things have already happened and the way things have already gone. We can very often look into the future by looking at the past. We can see the way things will be by how the by how they have been under similar conditions. And what we're going to be looking at is the Cretaceous Thermal Maximum. During the time of the Cretaceous period, the number of global warming gases, like the percentage in the atmosphere, was a lot higher. The atmospheric carbon dioxide levels were, rose to over 1,000 parts per million compared to 280 parts per million that they are now, or pre-industrial average. I don't know what they are now. We'd have to do some comparing, but with some comparison, we could see that if we get a little hotter, it wouldn't be too damaging. We have a great threshold that we know of of up to a thousand parts per million that we could go up to before it cause any damage above that. We don't really know for sure. Some people say that it could explode, there could be a massive increase in the Earth's heat, and it would inflate to before unseen levels. But I feel like that somehow that kind of correlates to the snowball effect that you get the idea that every everything that we do builds up and will lead to more of that. But I don't think that it's going to go like the snowball effect. I think that we're going to have a more linear and non-exponential change in heat. I don't think the entire Earth's going to light on fire and burn if we had slightly more carbon dioxide in the air. And we can look back at the Cretaceous period, where they had more global warming gases than now. We can realize that it was actually a fertile period. We had a large mass extinction that ended it. The end of the Cretaceous period has a geological signature associated with mass extinction. So many animals went extinct when global warming ceased to be at its current levels, or when it lowered back to much colder levels than now by far. When it was in the Ice Age, a lot of animals went extinct. A lot of dinosaurs, other life, it died. So I think if we went back to the Cretaceous period, life would be more prosperous than now. Sure, we might have more hurricanes, sure, we might have issues and problems, but I think overall that we'd have very similar, a very similar climate to the Cretaceous period, which I don't think would be unfavorable at all. Maybe going above that it would change, but we don't really know that for sure. Anyways, that's my view on global warming, and I think it's very well scientifically backed. And I guess I'll end the video here. If you want to see more of this content, then click the like button. If not, click the thumbs down. It doesn't really matter that much to me. But I guess I'll end the video here, and bye.